But I want to tell a story when I make a film, and I think that by telling the story, it should affect change, and that's what I want to do with my films. And it's one heck of a story Kelowna resident and CHBC cameraman is telling. It's not your typical fly fishing film, or as it's known in the industry, fish porn. No, this story goes from the red light district of Bangkok to the jungles of Chiang Mai, all for one very unique fish. The golden Masir, hailed as the aquatic tiger of the Asian subcontinent. The two factors that make golden Masir and Masir in general highly prized by um, anglers is the fact that they are really spooky and really hard to catch, so therefore a phenomenal challenge to anglers, but they fight. Incredible. Ooh, you really stung. Epic. But it, was, it wasn't until I actually caught one of those fish and that I held it in my hands and I saw how beautiful the scales are and I saw the coloration of the fish up close and it reminded me of these beautiful uh, golden temples that they have throughout Thailand. This fish turned out to be a game changer for Lowe and for the Montana Fly Company featured in the film as they help to support a conservation project along the Mainau River which will teach local Karam villagers about aquaculture. The thing about the fish is it's an endangered species. Its range is all over Southeast Asia but it's dwindled and its numbers have dwindled drastically in the last 10 years so far that it's been put on the endangered species list and it's endangered for a number of reasons uh, over harvesting, uh, dams, loss of habitat and these are uh, reasons that fish are endangered all over the world and, and right here at home. And it's those same concerns happening right in Lowe's own backyard that prompted him to start the conservation effort Trout Unlimited. We as Trout Unlimited Okanagan are focused on the Kettle River and, and trying to help restore the Kettle River. And the Kettle River has been one of the most endangered rivers in British Columbia for the last six years, and there's several problems on it. And we're just trying to focus our efforts on that. From the jungles of Chiang Mai to the banks of the Kettle River, Lowe's two passions, filmmaking and fishing, will unite. At the 2013 Costa Fly Fishing Film Festival, or F3T, where Taiwan On will make its premiere. Since I'm a, f a filmmaker in the F3T and my film is featured in the film tour, uh, I was given a license and so what I've done is I've donated that license to Tread Unlimited and we're going to show it March 16th at the Black Box Theatre and use it as a fundraiser. 50,000 people will attend F3T during the 150 dates across North America with Lowe's film premiering at each one. I dare someone to tell me that film is boring from anyone's perspective. I, I think it's a pretty interesting story. Jen Zielinski in Kelowna for Castanet News.